Also today, back-to-back -back marches in Florida's capital, flooding the streets there. Hundreds of people walking and shouting for change following the death of George Floyd. Our Forrest Saunders takes us to Tallahassee tonight. The familiar scenes of anger and chance for reform. No justice, no peace. Making their way to the streets outside the state house Wednesday. <laughs> The hundreds here blocking streets and waving signs saying they want to be part of history. I wanted to do more than sign petitions and donate, which I have done. I wanted to be on the front lines and be a part of something. Kristen Sharp, a local 15 year old, telling us she dreams of a day when she no longer fears a police encounter. You growing up black, you learn these rules. Be, be very polite, make sure your hands are always visible. You, you are very meticulous about everything you do, and I want to be able to relax when I see an officer in uniform. Law enforcement in abundance in case the marches turn violent, but that not happening after organizers of one of the two events urged peace earlier in the day. I want to get information out there, not just express how we feel, but let's take those feelings and manifest it into progression. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. State lawmakers taking notice of the efforts locally and across Florida, some now proposing legislation for next year's session, like a database to track bad officers. Other legislators saying more than new law is needed. We need real change in this country, and that type of change starts uh, with changing minds and changing hearts. Earlier today, the governor did weigh in on the recent gatherings across the state. He said that Florida won't tolerate rioting, looting or violence. Also that he's mobilized the National Guard and service members stand by waiting for communities in need. That's the latest out here. Back to you.